today's engineering challenge, you only need one piece of required equipment. It's a toilet paper or paper towel tube. Everything else can just be things you have lying around in your desk or uh, in your recycling bin. So go ahead and grab a tube and let's talk about the James Webb Space Telescope. Lots of telescopes use mirrors to collect light, and the bigger the mirror, the more light you can detect, which means you can find fainter things, things that don't give off as much light and things that are farther away. Um, the James Webb Space Telescope is going to have the largest mirror that we've put into space at 6.5 meters across, that's 21 feet. It has 18 hexagonal segments that sort of, you know, tile together to make this one big mirror. Um, each of those segments is beryllium coated in gold. And the problem is that we don't have a rocket that is 6.5 meters wide. Plus, in addition to that big mirror, there are three other mirrors, there are instruments, and there's this big sun shield that looks like a bunch of aluminum foil. That's to block out light from the sun so the telescope can see light from other sources. The rocket that the James Webb Space Telescope is launching in is an Ariane 5, which has a payload bay of about 4.5 meters. So that means that this big mirror on the Space Telescope needs to fold up so that it can fit inside the rocket that will take it to space. This is a huge challenge, not just because this thing is big and sensitive, but because it is going to have to deploy itself in space with no people there to check on it or help or assist if something is going wrong. It is an automated process once messages are sent to it to do these things. So why put a telescope in space if it is so difficult to do? The reason has to do with what the James Webb Space Telescope is looking for and what it's looking for can't be found on Earth. Our atmosphere is fantastic and we could not live without it. It filters out some of the most damaging forms of electromagnetic radiation, as well as some totally safe forms of electromagnetic radiation. What we get from the sun is light and some heat, not all of it, and some radio waves, but not all of those. The atmosphere filters out a lot of radio waves, a lot of heat, also known as infrared, as well as then the more dangerous things like x-rays and gamma rays. We have to be really careful with our astronauts when we send them outside of the atmosphere to make sure that they're protected from those dangerous types of radiation. Knowing that our atmosphere blocks these certain kinds of light, some of the light that it blocks is ones that we need to see to know about the early parts of the universe and things that are really far away from us. And there's reasons for that that are really cool and exciting that I'm not going to get into here, but I hope that you ask me about it. So we need this telescope in space so we can learn more about how our universe formed and how it is continuing to evolve, which is super cool. All right, time for the challenge. So your goal is to build something that fits into this toilet paper tube. Um, I'm okay with it sticking out if you're okay with things sticking out the end. We'll pretend that you've got more stuff. But when you remove it, it should unfurl, hopefully mostly unassisted. I mean, the, the James Webb Space Telescope has a ton of motors and things that are making things move. It's not just popping into space. But I'm hoping yours will at least have a little bit of a pop or a spring. Um, so once you take it out, it will expand to be a little bit larger. And I want to see and hear all about the um, cool creations that you're coming up with. I've created a Flipgrid space so that you can show me some videos of the things that you've made and maybe check out some things other people have come up with. One thing that I want you to know about the engineering process is that it is not only okay to fail, but if you're not failing, you're not doing it right. The first thing you try probably isn't going to work. You might try something way down the line thinking it's going to work and it is absolutely not going to. That is totally okay. That is expected. That's what trying new things means. It means failing at a bunch of things before you get to an acceptable solution. The James Webb Space Telescope was the project started in 1996 and it was supposed to have launched in 2007. It is 2021 and we are scheduled for a December 22nd launch at this point that was just pushed back last week. This is a really complicated, difficult thing. 
um, and it has taken a long time and a lot of setbacks down the road. Your, your design will not take 25 years to come to fruition. Another critical part of engineering design is collaboration, working together with other people. You saw how many people were in those clean rooms helping to assemble the, the James Webb Space Telescope. And those were just the people physically in the room. This was an international effort, a team from NASA, from the Canadian Space Agency, from the European Space Agency. There were corporate partners like Northrop Grumman. All of these people were working together to make this project happen. The James Webb Space Telescope was assembled in California, but the project lead was in Maryland. Uh, the software for it came through uh, independent verification and validation here in West Virginia, and it's going to be launching from Kourou, French Guiana, and South America. This could not happen without hundreds of people being involved. And I really recommend that when you're doing your engineering project, that you, you work together with other people, even if it's just sharing ideas. Good luck, have fun. And the link to the Flipgrid where you can share your creation is down in the description.